Hello everyone, my name is Hibbit and today I will show you how to get the stone fireplace inside the Iron Mountain Anvil Prefab. You would expect that this fireplace should fit in here, but as you can see, it doesn't. I went ahead and placed this foundation as a guide, and I will use it to make sure that the prefab can always be placed on the exact same spot. Here I start with adding two foundations, and after that I add a doorway wall on top and place a door inside it. Now we will replace the doorway wall with another type of wall, so we can remove the wall without removing the door. Then we will remove the two foundations that we added before, and now we can test if the prefab will snap to the floating door. Once placed, I check if the prefab is exactly on the spot that I want. I always like to check the prefab on all sides, and look if there are any parts of it floating in the air. Once I'm happy, I will remove the door and prefab to start with the next step. Here I will demonstrate two options. One of the options will be a shooting target and the other one will be a small floor item. I will place the fireplace on the shooting target like this and if I shoot it, the collision of the fireplace will be gone. If you want to do the same step with a normal floor item, we need a way to destroy it. This can be done with help of a friend by activating PvP with them and letting them shoot the floor item. You can also destroy it with a flamethrower trap, but you have to sink the trap into the floor by placing it on a small floor mat and sink it down using the pressure plate. I will be using the shooting target myself because it makes it a lot easier to do so. Let's prepare everything by adding three foundations this time and the floating door. Pick up the floor item with the fireplace attached and align it with the texture on the foundation as good as possible. Now we will be using the cam module to raise the fireplace up because you can see that it is a bit too low. If the fireplace is too high, you can use the pressure plate to sink it down again. Be sure that the button is pressed down when you do this. Now I'm going to try and find the exact spot where the fireplace should go. Thank you. 
I know that the center of the fireplace should be a bit more to the right side of the foundation. So let me shoot it so you have an idea where it should go. Now we will remove the added foundations and destroy the floor item. And now snap the prefab to the door and repair everything using the cam module. As you can see, the fireplace is sticking out too much, so we need to remove the door and the prefab to be able to move it. You will need to repeat these steps until you are able to get the fireplace exactly where it needs to go. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell in case you don't want to miss out on any future videos.